السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد الحمد لله رب العالمين Brothers and sisters, let's all thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessing that he has done for us. It's too much. We couldn't count him. If we can count the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he has done for us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we pray. Um, upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send the blessing upon him Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen um, again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he give us the opportunity to attend this Ramadan and we know that last year we have we have fast this Ramadan with some people but they did not attend this one is because the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written on them in this wall their lifetime is finished for them to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they did not did anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like bad things what make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take their soul not to attend this Ramadan and we also we didn't do any good to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why he make us to stay on this wall to attend this Ramadan so if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the chance to attend this Ramadan you need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for that blessing he has done for you. And alhamdulillah, uh, now we are at the end of Ramadan. And we are at the end of Ramadan. We still thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for that opportunity that we be able to fast from the beginning to the end. And Alhamdulillah, I wanted to remind myself and to remind um, all of you as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ ذِكْرَاتًا فَعُوا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Reminding or advising is always good for the believers. So, I wanted to remind you that that the Prophet وسلم, said that if you fast Ramadan and after Ramadan you fast the Sita Ayyam in Shawwal after Ramadan you fast six days and continuing with the Ramadan it seems like you fast the whole entire of the year and which is so beautiful like I said, the ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for this ummah is, is too much. And we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. You know, if we think about this, and if you keep doing this in your life, it seems like uh, you are fasting the whole, like the rest of your life. Because of if you fast the Ramadan and fast the six days of shawwal and it seems like uh, you fast the whole year and if you keep doing this and which means you are fasting the rest of your life um, which is so beautiful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has did for this ummah you did a little bit good deed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a big um, did for you so which is so beautiful and so nice which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for this ummah 
So we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that blessing. We always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will increase the blessing that He gave us. And another thing, brother, to remind you that in this situation that we are on now, I understand that this coronavirus has changed a lot of things. But again, don't forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. Maybe it's good for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَعَسَانْ تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَانْ تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ Sometimes we will hate some things, some of things, but it's better for us. But sometimes we would love to do some of the things and it's not better for us, it's bad for us. And we always, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, mu'min always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he did good for you, you thank him. But you thank him. Because sometimes, even he did some bad things for you, but that, um, sometimes it is it, better for you. But he did not know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better. Um, I wanted to remind you that in this situation we are, um, and now we are not gathering in the Masjid of Allah or, or the place that we can gather and then remind each other about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But seeing, I mean, still now you have the opportunity to um, to do those kind of things home, like the prayers and stuff like this. And do not sad, do not get sad, it's because of you not coming to the masjid now. If you was coming to the masjid, um, you praying with the jamaah, and now you couldn't do it, it's not because that's what you want. You did not want to stay home and not to come into the masjid, nobody want that. So, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, will give you the same reward as you were praying in the jama'ah. It, you will have the same reward, inshallah, as praying by yourself home. You will have the same reward as well. And so, do not be sad or do not worry about it. Just pray home, inshallah, you will get the same reward as if you pray in jama'ah as well. Um, and after that, we are coming to get into the Eid prayer as well. And we know this year we won't be gathering um, a place to pray this Eid Fitr. But you can pray home all the time. Um, do not say um, the Eid prayer won't be like it used to be before. So I'm not going to pray home. You will have to pray home. Pray Turaka home. Pray Eid prayer home. Um, if you with your family, pray with your family. And if you by yourself, pray by yourself. And if you with your wife, you pray with your wife. Um, Eid prayer is Turaka as it used to be. And if you pray in home, you don't have to make any khutbah to pray. Um, and if you pray, you should be two rakah. First rakah, you come and make the takbiratul ihram. And after you make takbiratul ihram, you will have to make six takbirat, um, including the takbiratul ihram, and it's going to be seven takbirat then. Okay. And the second rakah would be five. Takbirat. You understand? And each raka, um, I mean, if you memorize Surah Al Qaf or if you memorize Surah Al Qamar, you can recite um, Surah, Al -Qam, uh, Surah Al Qaf in the first raka and Surah Al Qamar in, sec in the second raka. But if not, you can recite uh, Surah Al A'la in the first raka. In the first raka and the second raka you can recite Surah al -Ghashiyah. And if you won't be able to, if you don't memorize all of these, you won't be able to do it, then 
اقرأ ما تنسر لك من القرآن read whatever is easier for you to read in this Torah card and I heard some people are saying that between the takbirat you will have to recite something there or there is nothing to recite you just make takbirat of course when you make the takbirat at least you leave seconds between but you don't go Allah Akbar Allah Akbar like that but there is nothing to recite okay that's clear and you pray to Raka and after you don't you you know make dua for yourself and make dua for your family and if you use your family make dua to each other and make a lot of takbirat because of that day is the day um is that day that we make lots of takbirat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah and i think that's the reminder that i want to give myself and give to everyone and alhamdulillah and another thing too is zakat al-fitr and now is the time to give zakat al-fitr before the eid day and some scholars say too you can give it as well before the prayer um, b before people are going to pray but you understand that the muslim if if the zakat al-fitr that you give in because of you you give in zakat al-fitr as well to the poor so is it would be better to give it before the day of the eid maybe you can give it day before the eid so that way if you give it to anybody who is poor so he can be able to get ready and make food for himself for the eid day but if you give it to the eid day it may be difficult um, for the person to to uh, to organize it um, inshallah and this zakat al fitr is very important as well brothers and sisters we understand i, I, I mean human beings always make a mistake so uh, and also when you fasting sometimes you may make some little mistakes during the day you fasting and stuff like that so this is a cattle fitr alhamdulillah will erase those mistakes that you have done in in the ramadan time inshallah and some people saying that if you don't give out the cattle fitri your fasting will be hang on the sky or something like that it won't reach out to where it's supposed to be that's something i mean it's not it's incorrect um but we understand that this is the fitri it cleans it cleans you like from your um the sins that you may made during your fasting and stuff like that yeah that's something uh, sabit but alhamdulillah um, i'm going to stop the video here and i think this remind would be benefit um inshallah and if anything i said wrong is from my it's it, it from myself but if anything i said good alhamdulillah from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh